what's up everybody um so the more that i journey along this time path uh the greater things are able to be realized for, to me because uh you know things change you know i thought some fossils i had were shark teeth but they were you know snakeheads so uh you know things change <laughs> um but uh i just want to you know journey on this with y'all just in case it is something that uh potentially in the future when i get more time i can further research uh or if somebody wants to research it uh that has more you know uh abilities i guess too but uh so i am in a off track of a trail and uh you know, so the the water ran down this way, and it ran down all the small sand and gravel, but it left these rocks, and it's kind of laying in the formation where, like the last time they were laying. Kind of, if anything, I think maybe a couple of them rolled off with the water. So maybe this creature isn't as long as this. But I feel like that is a skull over there. So I just wanted to start this video and check it out with y'all before I head it out over there. So, Okay. Oh my god. Look how it just moved. Ah! What the heck? Okay. Alright. So, I just want to, you know, to get a good glimpse of it while I haven't, we haven't touched it a lot. But, look at that. Oh my god. There's a little, there's a centipede in there. So you can see the nice cheekbone formation on this creature. You can see it has a nose. The nose had some bone structure that formed horns around the nose. You can see right here it has some marks for its teeth so we take a poke right there okay so one thing might be some teeth formations where you know right there but yeah look there's some bone structure right there you see that <laughs> this would be the top of his head the back of its head right here and then let's try to get it back right here and then here is your mouth it's the bottom jaw right there how are you doing guys 
Yeah, it was a really cool fossil. You can see the little... Like on the snake heads, the cranium has a lot of empty in it in specific places. Let's see if we can uh, get some spinal resemblance around here. Oh, wow, look at, look at that. It's like the center way of this creature's nerve system, maybe. It was traveling through here. Its wants, concerns, its life, its thoughts traveled through here, possibly. This little pathway. from its brain. That was, maybe that's <laughs> not that big. Um, Look at this bottom jaw. So we have some teeth impressions right here in the bottom jaw facing upwards maybe this could be a possible endpoint of a tooth uh, this could possibly be a giant tooth formation we don't know about right here that was maybe connected to the jaw. So maybe this creature had a part to play in the jaws of the species. Like becoming more hybrid to having individual teeth in the jaw. Instead of the jaw itself also being the teeth. Just because of this one right here, you see, has a little, that would be a big old tooth, and it'd be, like, spread apart, and horned really weird, but it could be this is the singular teeth, and this is the jaw teeth right there. But the only reason I saw that skull is because I've started to notice things even larger. I mean, the Titan Boa skulls are really cool. Like, and those things are ginormous and stuff and way ginormous than this. But, I mean, you know, just seeing, like, the whole creature itself is very cool. And, uh, you know... Y'all just uh, stay tuned. We're going to check out this one right here. Oh, yeah. So, look. What does that look like? 
That looks like part of a spinal bone. And that was another reason why this thing kind of stood out to me. Um, was this formation. Because there ain't no seashells out here. There's, so it seems like there's only like sand and uh, limestone. But this is a spinal bone mineralized in limestone. And then it was probably coralized at some point. And clams started eating inside of it a little bit. But this goes to show where that skull comes from. So let's go take a look at this one now. Because <laughs> now I'm definitely interested. So this is a weird formation. This could be a rib cage, maybe. Y'all see that right there? It looks like if I was to eat a chicken really well like a rotisserie chicken and I ate it like all the chicken this is what it looks like if I would have like turned over that chicken like that's the only resemblance I could come up with so it does definitely look like a rib cage of some sort um Let's go check out some of this over here. I'll just go put that one back right there. Because, like, this right here, uh, I really don't know, actually. Let's see what this is. Whoa. What is that? Whoa. I don't know what that was, but, you know, you got to get excited at everything. <laughs> because that's how I found that one rib cage out there. And that one place where it drought in. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to take a look at that with y'all. Just to see what it could be because see look that right there that looks like the possible continuation of a spinal bone of some sort right here question is Where does it end? Well, that's all for now, folks. Okay, well, let's check it this one. Since it's here, this could be something cool. No. Yeah, I just wanted to show y'all those key points in the rock around this part because I just was observing but y'all stay happy